This sign says it all, because here at the New Models Program Development Center, this cutting-edge piece of equipment is literally helping to shape the future of some of our most innovative and exciting products. The fluid cell press is a special type of press that uses high-pressure, flexible, die-forming techniques. Here's how the unconventional fluid cell press works. What we do is we load up a rigid tool half into the, the tray. It rolls into the press. Two 200 horsepower electric motors pump castor oil into a chamber. On the bottom of the chamber is a diaphragm. And the diaphragm, once it's pressurized, will actually conform to whatever shape you have in the tray. Pressure the fluid that forms the part. The purpose of the fluid cell press and the reason the investment in it was made is to reduce lead time and prototype costs. For the short run, um, uh, vehicle or niche vehicles, it's ideal because uh, there's just a significant amount of tooling savings. So, and that's what we're trying to focus on today, is to reduce the cost of these prototypes. The program teams are always looking to save time, looking to save money, designing things right up to the, end, right up to the due date, and this will give them more flexibility. That's because the fluid press can be modified quickly and easily to accommodate design changes and metals of different thicknesses can be used. You can see how that flexibility and dramatic cost savings happens when you compare the fluid cell press with traditional stamping and tooling methods. In conventional tooling, you have three tool pieces. You have the cavity, the punch, and the ring. The blank will be placed on the ring, and when the cavity comes down, it captures the blank and pulls the material over a punch. In the fluid cell, you only need to have one half of the tool, either a punch or a cavity. You place the blank on top of the tool, and the bladder forms the shape, either the punch or the cavity. So basically, you only need one, head, one piece of the tool as opposed to three. So there's a significant savings and upwards of maybe 40% savings in tooling. And also unlike conventional machines, the fluid cell can press multiple parts during each run. Now, it may take a regular conventional press on a cycle. A hydraulic press may take 20 seconds a cycle. This takes at full pressure maybe two minutes, minutes and a half to two minutes. But we can actually run eight, nine parts at one time. Let's take a look at an actual run in this remarkable fluid cell press. Dave's running a, uh, a blanking die over there. That's a steel, two-inch steel insert that's going to give us our trim. Jeff's running a couple of door reinforcement parts. This is another door reinforcement part out of mild steel, but this one here we're going to add a, give it a little help. It's a very, it's a thick, high-strength material, and it's a, it's a tight draw, so we're going to help it with some lube and some plastic. And we've cut our blanks to help our, uh, our forming. And Jeff's going to send it in, and we're going to send it in at 14,500 PSI. The roll-up pad, you see, the black roll-up pad is a protection, and if any sharp materials that might stick out, we don't want to puncture the, uh, the bladder. It's going to take a few minutes for that to run through its cycle. The higher pressure you run, the longer it takes for the cycle. Here we have our, uh, our finished parts. These are ready for laser. Dave is over here is ready for uh, to be assembled. That, that's your part, trim and everything. The team has run large parts like door reinforcements and whole quarter panels, illustrating the flexibility benefit of the press. It also has other advantages. For example, it can handle tooling with inserts. And the fluid press can actually form a draw and remove the inserts and flange, accomplishing in one run what previously could only be achieved conventionally with multiple dies and stampings. And the team is working on adapting the press to handle trim dies. We have a couple of prototypes that we're actually forming and trimming in one operation of the press. It rolls in and actually forms the part and trims it. And we've also worked on uh, punching and master control holes as well. So those are, you know, once we develop those technologies, that's going to give us a, a, a large competitive advantage. But the real benefit to our program teams is cost and time savings. If we get a change and uh, a part change that needs to be incorporated into our prototypes, we can either cast the, a tool extremely fast or we can go forward and just remachine this tool and turn the part around extremely fast. So 
uh, it has a, a tremendous uh, advantage for us for uh, improving uh, and expediting the speed into the, into the process. That's why this press is ideal for niche, low volume and prototype parts. And since the press came online in November of 2000, the team has run about 230 tools for innovative products like the new F-150, the Cross Trainer, the Thunderbird and the Focus Fuel Cell. And they are hoping to make a difference for the Ford GT team as well. We've had some major programs that have gone through this plan already that uh, I've saved significant money. Uh, a couple programs that didn't have the funding, we, uh, we turned them around and we got them into an affordable business plan and got, got the program launched. So um, it, it's, been a great, uh, it's been a great piece of equipment that has really helped this prototype work. Yeah, we're real happy with it. It's, uh, it adds to our other presses, gives us more uh, capability. We can offer a service to our engineering um, community that no other uh, prototype facility in North America can offer. So uh, let's take advantage, let's move on and uh, save the company some money. For Technology Today, I'm Ellen Akins.